a look. Well, I don't know if we'll find the queen or not, but we're going to take a look at some brood. Whoa. That's a lot of... So, on this side, it's turning brown. See this? See, like, what is that? That's all brood. Okay, so is this the honey? Okay. No, nope, there's honey around the edges. Around the edges, yep. but the stuff in the middle, that's that different colors. This is brood. Okay. Okay, now right down in there is this little lava. You see them down in there? Uh-huh. And the what's brood for again? The brood is the young bees. Oh, this okay. Is yeah. bee, this is bees that are going to grow and develop okay. into worker bees. Okay. Okay, so if it's covered, are they already like if, in if their final? If it's covered, it means they're in their final pupil, st wow. uh, pupa stage of pupa and you may get one emerging here if we get if we can I don't see any here let's look at the other side okay now now here's a difference here for you Oop. did he sting you no I slipped this is these are drone cells here oh these would be the ma these would be the male bees oh, those are bigger yep or... much bigger okay you see how much bigger they are yeah than this? they're huge okay but you see how strong and healthy this is? Yeah. Now here's a drone right here. Come here, fellow. You can hold him. He'll only sting you once. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. no, he has he's, no stinger. He's pretty big. Catch him, Colin. Wait, let me, let me. Aw, he's, he's such a sweet little bee. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this beside here because I'm looking for a queen for you. So that buzz, this might be a dumb question, but the buzz, is that the sound of their wings hitting or just the vibration that's of their... The sound, that's the sound of their wings stirring the air. The Bees will maintain, the in this colony, they'll maintain 90 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees. Wow. 365 days a year at the core. Okay? Yeah. In other words, around the brood, which is the core, they will maintain that temperature. You need some more smoke? Mm -mm. No, they're, they're quite calm. That's, a, that's just a hum that you listen for. That that we're listening to right now is what you listen for. That's a good... See how good. nice and healthy that is? Mm. Wow. So you can actually see inside, it looks like water in there. Yeah, well that's actually... Uh, nectar that's been stored in there. Oh, okay. Is that for feeding the babies or? Yeah, it's just they, they need a place to store it. They shouldn't be storing that much in there. But. Whoa, they, so they have more of the, uh, yeah. more of the drones there? Mm -hmm. What are the, when they're making queens, what does it look like? Oh, the, well, there would be a queen cell down here along the bottom. We don't want to see them making queens this time of year. Okay. On their own. They, they need to not be doing that. I'm just looking for a queen. If they were doing that, would that mean there was a problem? That would mean there was a problem. Oh, what is this one right here? Is that a drone? This big one right here? I can't see past your Sorry. Here? Yeah, that yeah, one that right there. That would be a drone. Oh, okay. Oh, good job, Meg. Yeah, it That's was big. Drone. Yeah. Yeah. So I just was so like, we're gonna, yeah. We're going to take another look here. Man, that honey taste is so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Oh, there's another drone. There's a couple drones there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. It's probably so Phyllis, you, huh? Are probably. They, do they just wait around for... Uh... Now, there's been a hatch here. See, there's not a lot of bees inside all those cells. Uh-huh. Yeah. So there's been a hatch here. They've been hatching off. And... Uh, That's crazy. <laughs> Amazing how many there are. So can you calculate how many bees you have? Well, I could. Yeah, there's a there's a way of doing it. Uh, and what you do is you use a you use a grid, a one inch grid. Yeah. And you take one of those full cells, or one of those full uh, colonies, mm -hmm. and you. Uh, wow. No queen yet? No queen yet. There's a couple drones. There's a drone yeah, right there. Yeah, see the drones there. Um, what you do is you calculate the number of bees in that given area. Mm -hmm. And then you take and compare all your other all your other frames. 
and uh, this is a good healthy hive. Mm. Really nice healthy hive. So what was this again? That's honey. That's honey. Okay. Yeah. So that's the dry. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they got enough honey just in the bottom here. Will that last them like the whole winter if, if they had no, to? No, they'll actually have, have enough honey in the bottom. What I'll have to do is check and make sure they have enough honey in the bottom and enough honey in here. And then I usually put one more on top and I feed them sugar water. Mm. Oh. To build them up for the winter time. Sugar, yeah. sugar water and pollen. Where do you put that? I put it right on top. Oh. I put it right on top of the bars and they, they take it and store it. They will take it and store it. And uh, do you mix it? now here's see here's a here's some more new lava over here. See this new lava right in here? Yeah. Oh yeah. They're like little grubs, huh? Yep. That's what they are basically, little worms. <laughs> That's incredible. That is little crazy. Worms. Yeah, it's uh they keep me fascinated. Yeah. It doesn't take a whole lot. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to be Well this is it's oh, all part be, of God's design. It is. It's just it's crazy. That would be really a shame amazing. to be too smart to be curious. Yeah, well, I find some people like that every once in a while. Some people have all the answers, and I don't. I just go, that's amazing. Yeah. So we haven't found the queen yet. No, she may have. Queens are. Queens have an aversion to light. Oh, oh. So, so she probably is she way may down. Be, she may be down in that very bottom box. But you see, I don't go looking for queens. Like a lot of people, they go looking for queens and go messing around with a hive and actually end up damaging the hive mm. because they they spend so much time looking for the queen and they spend so much time digging around and moving boxes around, moving oh, frames around. There's another dead one. Do they, do they? Yeah, that happens. How do they take care of they bees have, that have died? They have undertaker bees. <laughs> in the undertaker bees, you'll actually see them dragging them out the front door and dropping them on the ground. Wow. See those bees down there on the ground? Yeah. Oh, it's quite a few. Yeah. And I haven't found, I really want to put an observation hive in my house. Oh, that oh, would wow. be sweet. But I just haven't found a convenient place to put it yet. Wow. Now, we squeeze these together a little bit, like this. They live in close, close quarters. Huh? I said they live in pretty close quarters. Yeah, they live in close <laughs> quarters. They have a, they have a distance. Yeah. They have a set design that they live in there. Yeah. Okay.